How's it going? This is Mr. Morales. Welcome back to part two. This is part two of the intro to HTML and CSS. So this is what we have so far. Let's go back to our code. So now what I want to do is add some style to the footer. Um, but first of all, I want to show you Let's add, um, let's do something interesting here. Let's just add, let's go back to the paragraph tag within the hood, footer. And let's create, let's give it a class name. And let's call it signature. And notice the way I'm creating a class name is I type the word class, equal sign, and then in quotation marks. I'll type the word signature and this designates uh, giving it a name I'm able to uh, use it in the CSS okay so uh, in order to call this section I type period and then signature And let's uh, let's uh, let's we're gonna add four rules here. Let's go with background color. Um, okay, let's do wheat. I'm doing the same background color as I did for the H1. Just it makes it look a lot neater. Uh, I'm gonna have my text align center. I also want to change the font of the text Mr. Morales. So in order to do that, I am going to type font-family and I'll make the font Arial. Now you guys have a lot of freedom as to how to do all this and you, you know, I really want people to research and play around with some of this stuff. Uh, let's do the, uh, let's add some font weight bold okay I'm gonna save it let's refresh it and let's take a look at how that looks okay it's starting to take shape here okay simple very simple web page nothing too fancy okay let's go back to our code okay so let's add some meat to our div tag so after the h2 tag we're gonna press enter and we are going to create a paragraph tag and this time we're going to call we're going to give it a class by the name of uh, let's see let's, let's use info okay and let's um, let's close the tag Okay, so within the paragraph tag, here's where we're gonna. I'm going to just start typing some text about, you know, about my first hobby, which is watching football. So I'm just gonna start typing. Um, starting in August, I enjoy watching college football. My favorite team is the USC Trojans and notice how uh, the text uh, wraps automatically if it doesn't wrap automatically make sure to click on the word wrap button up at the top here it might in, uh, also be under view. Yeah, here it is. Word wrap. So it's check marked. So whatever text editor you use, make sure that that is on. Okay, let's continue. Uh, and in 2017, they won the Pac 
12 conference. All right. Okay, let's save that. So let's take a look at how this looks. Refresh. Okay, so we have some simple text. Um, you know, it doesn't look all that nice. So let's uh, change the font, maybe. Let's, or uh, yeah, let's change the font. So let's go back to our code. So notice that this time we're using the class info. And so if I want to change the font of this text, I'm going to create a new rule and I'm going to use info. But instead of going at the bottom here of signature, I'm going to I'm going to go after the H2 just to be in the proper order, just to be in good order. Okay? So I'm going to type in dot info and this time I'm going to choose um, well I'll choose Arial again I like that font okay let's save that alright let's see Uh, let's see what else can we do to our web page here. Yes, let's insert an image to our web page. Okay, and so we're going to insert an image, and let's insert the image at the end of our paragraph or our, our text there. And let's type in another paragraph tag. So every time you add another paragraph, um, or another section of text or an image you want to create a new paragraph tag so in this case I'll call it image okay img so this is the code um, actually let's do this here let's close our paragraph tag and let's go inside the paragraph tag and within the paragraph tag what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the code to create to insert an image so it's I am uh, open bracket IMG space SRC equals and within uh, open uh, I'm going to put some quotation marks here okay and I'm gonna close the bracket so it's gonna look actually like this so that is actually I messed up here so instead of saying image let's put IMG actually that's the correct way so IMG so this is the code here starting with open bracket IMG this is the code to include an image into your web page so open bracket IMG space SRC equals and in quotation marks we are going to put the reference to the image now there's two ways of doing this one way is to actually download the image and then call it from um, you know call it you're going to save the image you call it uh, the other way to do it is just to copy the web address so we'll, we'll use uh, we'll, we'll copy the web address so it's a little bit easier and I'll show you how to do that so let's save that and let's go to our browser let's go to Google I'm gonna type I'm gonna click on images and I'm gonna type USC football and let's try to find a good image here uh, let's see let's see if I could find the image that I was using earlier here we'll just click on this one okay so once you find an image that you like you click on the image so you see it uh, larger here and now you right click on it and you go to copy image address 
So click on copy image address, you go back to your code and you're going to paste your image address within the, qu the quotation marks. So first of all, I want to make sure that there isn't any space in my quotation marks. And now I want to make sure I right click and I click paste. And notice how it copy it copies the entire web address to that image. Now I'm going to press save. And let's see if the image is there. Let's get out of here and let's refresh it. And sure it is. Whoa, but look at that image is huge. So let's try to change that. Let's go back to our code. And let's create a new style rule here. Let's go after info and let's see. So our, let me see where this is. Okay, here we go. So our class for the image is called image. So what I'll do is I will type or actually I can also just use IMG. So that's what I'll do. I'll use IMG So that's going to be controlling, that will be controlling the image size. So I want to change the image size. So let's go with width 50%, height, yeah, let's also do 50%. So we're cutting it in half. So let's see how this looks. And a lot of times this requires, you know, just trial and error for you to mess with it and see what looks best. So okay, so that looks a lot better. Okay. So it's starting to take some shape here. Uh let's do one more thing. Let's let's add a link. Let's add a link. So notice how I have some text here and what I want to do is I want this text USC Trojans. I want this to be a link. So when people click on that, it'll go to um, the USC website. Okay, so let's do that. So let's look for that in the text. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere around here. My favorite team is the USC Trojans. Okay, so I'll start right before USC. And I will type in uh, open bracket, capital A, space, H R E E F equal sign and in quotation marks so I'll put a quotation mark and I'll put another quotation mark and I will close the bracket like that now within the quotation marks this is where I'm going to put the web address for or uh, for the link so let's go online Let's do a Google search and I will just type USC and so it takes me so here I have University of Southern California I'll click on that and so this takes me to the official USC website that's what I want I click on the web address bar to select it right click copy okay let's close that let's go back to my code right click paste. Fantastic. There we go. So I'm going to click save. Let's go and refresh. Uh oh, but look what happened. It created all this as a link, even my name. So I didn't specify where I wanted the link to end. I want the link to end here after USC Trojans. So I need to close the tag. I forgot to close the tag. Let's do that. So in order to close the tag, I go right after USC Trojans and I type in open bracket backslash a close bracket save let's go back refresh it okay cool so now we have it just that alright so all this code was used to create this web page so uh, another couple things that I wanted to mention was that um, so the first thing I wanted to say was that this image is a JPEG image. If we take a look at our code, all the way at the end, it has the file extension JPEG image. And what a JPEG, 
JPEG image is is that it supports millions of colors. Now the other other popular type of image is a GIF image and that's mainly used for buttons and icons and that supports 256 colors. So if you want a, a, a nicer website you may want to be using JPEG image images and there's other uh, file types for uh, uh, images like PNG you can also use that and that supports millions of colors also. So uh, thank you for watching. This uh, concludes our uh, video on how to create a simple web page. For your project you will be creating several more sections, uh, other you know hobbies along with some text and a link and images. So this concludes our project or our my video I should say. This concludes my video. Thank you for watching.